YouTubers, this is Rev from RJ Boxing SC. Today I'm going to be talking about how to create a more powerful punch. So, firstly, I would say work on your technique. So, I would suggest to work on shadow boxing, filming yourself for two, three minutes, do about three, four rounds. Then, once you watch your technique over on shadow boxing, then I would say go on the heavy bag and then work them combinations. And then, after that, film it again and then see where you're going wrong or what's going right. After you've done that, I would utilize jumps and med ball throws in a strength and conditioning program, which would be a mesocycle, four to eight week, in train, training two training blocks with a deload in the middle, so you can recover training so you don't get injured. Otherwise, if you're lifting too heavy all the time, you might end up pulling the muscle. So. When you start your programs, I would suggest warming up correctly. So I would suggest warming up by doing corrective exercises and then doing um, explosive exercises like low level climbing tricks to warm up. So you can do bands and things like that. And uh, pergo jumps and things like that to warm up. And then once you're warmed up, then go into the power exercises. And then once you do the power exercises, do them explosively as you can. So for instance, if you were doing a single arm chest throw, throw the single arm chest throw as hard as you can, obviously in a boxing stance, because we want to relate it to boxing. So you want to be all boxing related. And in the strength and conditioning program, you want to incorporate things like, instead of doing a shoulder press with a, a barbell overhead, I would suggest using a landmine in a boxing stance and then throwing it up and also it's less strenuous on the shoulders so this is more beneficial for boxing and it will give you more power production in boxing because you're increasing your strength so I would suggest to follow a mesocycle for eight weeks and then in between do a deload and then I would suggest to also incorporate partial lifts this will increase your maximal strength so for instance doing a bench press um, so you'd have, have it on pins so it's a little bit higher up so you get a, more of a, a strength lift so basically it's where you get stuck on the position of the lift so it makes it easier because you're lifting it from higher positions so it's easier to push it up so these are sticking points also another sticking point it would be a deadlift so if you were doing a trap bar deadlift you would have bar on blocks and then pull it up from the blocks which makes it more easier which will make you stronger at your sticking point so you increase maximum strength and also I would suggest going quite heavy so on my last video I said go up to 90% on this video I want to say go up to 95% go a little bit stronger because the more uh, strength you can improve on which you can increase the more power production you can produce so you're going to have a harder punch. So you always want to perform your power exercises first. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'll tell you the best exercise you can do to create a harder punch. Oh. So this is the exercise I suggest for an harder punch. The reason why I'm going to save it till the end, because the thing is with contrast training, this is the exercise what I was going to suggest at the start, but I've saved it to the end, which is contrast training. So contrast training, I've suggested at the end because you want to finish your mesocycle circle first, the eight week block, the two training blocks, because you need to create the strength. If you haven't got the strength, you're not going to be able to throw an hard punch. So once you create the strength, then you can perform this exercise. So I would suggest doing 85% of your one RM or 90% and then go straight into the explosive exercises as a jump or a throw. So the best exercise I'll suggest would be the single arm chest press going into a single arm chest throw. And that is the best exercise for an harder punch. Thank you for watching everyone. If you could please hit the subscribe button and help my channel grow would be enough appreciated. Thank you very much.